So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the number one way that majority of all women are going to gain the leverage over the men that they are dating. This is going to be some very high level information to help you navigate your dating life and your relationships much better. To help you understand this at an even deeper level, I'm going to read Matthew 5:28. So it says right here, it says, but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. What you will realize is this, any man who's craving lust, potential intimacy, or sex over time is going to become weaker. And I don't care how many options you have. I don't care if you're considered a pre-selected guy. I don't even care if you have a lot of options. What you're going to find is if you make these mistakes, women will oftentimes hold the psychological perceived value. They will pull away and they will cause pain in your dating life. So what I'm going to do is show you how to overcome this the proper way. So that way you are a true man's man and she looks at you as a guy that she wants to stay with. This is very important. So stay Stick with me. You see, when men start to master this, they actually start to get the leverage back in their own dating life. And every day, this community is growing stronger. Okay, listen up. Now, to be the man that you need to be, you are going to have to upgrade your spiritual scorecard or else the woman is going to break you. Now, what you're going to find is the more you fantasize about potential romance, the more you want lust, the more you crave that sort of stuff, the weaker you're going to become. So. I titled this video, the number one way women gain the leverage over men that they date, leaving him weak. So here's what I can tell you. You wanting to sleep with her or her getting to sleep with you validates her and she now has the leverage. See, this is where my content is a lot different from most people's because most guys are going to tell you that once you're able to sleep with her or if you're able to flirt or if you have good game, now you've unlocked the right steps in the right sequential order in order for her to want to sleep with you. And this couldn't be further from the truth. Here's what you have to understand. The reason why I chose this piece of text in scripture, Matthew 5, 28, but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart is because if you start to do these things, you're going to leave yourself weak and emasculated. So you wanting to sleep with her or her getting to sleep with you validates her and she now has the leverage. And the reason being is because she has something that you want. You have to understand this. When it comes to psychological relationship dynamics, there's typically always someone who holds more value than the other person. And the person who holds the more value is going to be the person who wants the other person less. Well, if you are wanting that with her, instantly she now has more of the leverage. So she has something that you want. And what this does is this is forever making you put lust on the pedestal, which instantly becomes your Achilles heel because the man is now at the lower value as she has something that he wants. You have to understand this. If you want her or if you want her in a relationship or if you want to sleep with her, it's like you are the guy who is now pursuing. You are the guy who wants her. Well, if you think about this in reverse, why doesn't she want you? What value do you bring to the table? What are the things that you would have to bring to the table to make a woman view you with those kind of eyes that you're viewing her with? You have to think about this at a deep level. So this is why most women don't respect men. Most women don't respect men that they date because most men have went weak for touch. Most men have became lustful and most men basically just have pleasure control them. Well, that's not good because then she sees this and even if she does sleep with you, it's not like she has very much respect for you. It's not like she thinks that you are a great guy. It's not like she thinks that you're this guy she wants to be with or would even lead her properly. She looks at you as just another guy. Okay, so here's what you gotta remember. Having sex with a woman is not the thing that makes her fall in love with a man and respect him, even if the sex was good. Okay, so you need to turn off this part of your thinking. There's plenty of guys out there who have been with 20 women, 50 women, 100 women. And if you say to them, well, did you sleep with those girls? And the guy goes, yeah. And you say, okay, well, how many of them are you with today? A lot of times the guy goes, none of them. Well, that should tell you something, okay? If you look at all the women you've slept with over the past 10 years or whatever, and you're not with any of them, that should tell you right there that having sex with a woman is not the thing that makes her fall in love with a man and continue to respect him. So when she sees your arousal in some way, shape or form, you have now revealed your interest level. Okay. I was just hanging out with a girl a couple nights ago and she said to me, she goes, if I'm hanging out with a guy 
and he doesn't desire to sleep with me, she goes, it instantly makes me feel insecure. And then naturally I will start to want him more because I wonder why he doesn't want to do that. Okay, so what you have to remember is a lot of you are giving away your interest. You're giving away a lot of your value here that you don't even realize that you have. So men's excuse oftentimes is this. Guys will say, well, if I don't sleep with her, won't she just go get it somewhere else? And I'm here to tell you, hell no, she won't. And the reason why she won't is because of this. Hypergamy optimizes for what is the strongest. And not just the strongest man physically with your biceps, I'm talking about the strongest guy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, everything that ties into who he is, okay? Hypergamy optimizes for the strongest guy. And specifically the guy with the highest SMV, the highest sexual market value. Well, here's what I can tell you. If every guy wants to sleep with her and you don't, okay, think about this. What does that say about your SMV, your sexual market value? If every guy out there wants to sleep with her and you don't, what does that naturally do to your psychological perceived value in her brain? She sits there and goes, well, he must have options at this level. Well, maybe I'm not doing the right things to attract him. So here's what happens is she feels like a man is now either on her level or even more attractive than her. And what this does is this makes hypergamy satisfied and now she looks at you as a guy she wants to be with. So shift your attention to this column. What you have to do in my opinion, now keep in mind, this whole channel is largely my opinion on how I view the world. What you need to do is you need to reverse the thinking. So you reverse the thinking and you say, well, why does this woman deserve me? Why does this woman deserve my shaft? Right? Think of it that way, right? Why does she deserve that from me? So if you do this and you say, well, doesn't my shaft have value, right? I know that that sounds funny, but just take this step by step here with me. If you reverse the thinking and you say, why does this woman deserve my shaft? You got to ask yourself some deeper level questions. You say, does she get it just because she's hot and she's really pretty? Does she deserve it because she has an hourglass figure, right? Does she deserve it because I find her cute? Is it because this is the only woman that I can find who wants to sleep with me? Like what's the real reason here? Why do you want that? Why do you need that? And why do you even feel like she deserves that from you? See, this is a problem is most men don't respect themselves and then they expect a woman to respect them. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So if you ask yourself this question too, what did she do to earn me? A lot of times it's nothing. She showed up on the date and you paid for it. You bought dinner, you bought the drinks, you're spending time to hang out with her. A lot of times she's just sitting there existing and then you're sold on her beauty. Well, what does that say about you as a man? What it shows a woman is you don't expect anything. Um, when it comes to how people invest in you, you're willing to give away your time freely. You're pleasures control you. And then you wonder why she doesn't like you. Well, what about that signal strength? Absolutely nothing. So if you ask yourself these questions, what did she do to earn me? Why am I always in pursuit? If you ask yourself these level of questions, don't I have something that she wants to like, why is it you as the guy where you want that romantic time with her? Why is it that you want to sleep with her? Why is this not reverse where oftentimes she sees value in you and she wants to invest? This whole thing doesn't make sense anymore. And that's because I think a lot of men are doing this incorrectly. So if you transition over to this column, okay, you need to look at this from my perspective just for a second. Okay. I've made a lot of videos on this channel and I have to actually explain to you and break this down for you and to you why I do this. So if you transition into what you should do and why I do this, okay, my last name, if you look it up, you can look this up for yourself, Xander. The last name, it literally means defender of man. Okay. Now head man, right? What that means is that means chief or leader. You can look up the definition for yourself. So when I started to put two and two together, I found that this was my purpose, especially with what my last name means. Okay. So take this a step further with me because of that. My whole mission in life is to help men get the leverage back in their dating life. Okay. That they don't have. Because this is the problem right now is majority of men don't have any options. So what I did was I wanted to fix that. So here's what I realized about faith and leveling up your spiritual scorecard 
if you want to call it that. Okay, here's what I realized. God is good at making the right people come together. And that is why we've put over 660 people total, over 660 men together inside of this movement, inside of this community. When I'm watching these guys' lives actually start to change for the better and their relationship life gets better, their dating life gets better. They start to become the man that they were actually called to be. Life gets a lot better, but you have to have the right guys in your corner. You have to be willing to actually take a look at the world and see it from a different lens. And if you do that, you can finally look at life from a different perspective and you now have the wisdom to ask these deeper level questions, right? These deeper level questions right here that I ask you, right? Is it because she's hot? Is it because you find her cute, right? Is it because this is the only woman that you can find that hopefully wants to sleep with you? Like it's not until you're actually willing to ask yourself the deeper level hard questions and then you come to terms with the fact that maybe the way you're living is probably not correct because if you are a guy who's trying to level up your game, right? Oh, my verbal game. I want to make it better. I want to level up my flirting, all this. You're going to watch day by day, week after week, month after month, year after year, it not matter. And you're going to try to basically win a game that is not winnable. And then what you're going to realize is women only fall in love with the man and who he is from the inside out, who you are on the inside. Right? That's how a woman falls in love, the, the person as a whole, the personality, okay? So what I can tell you is this, it is not until you're willing to ask yourself these deeper level questions that can actually get you to reconsider with how you live. And then when you do figure this stuff out, you start to understand that to become a man worthy of respect and her wanting to respect you, it takes you living differently. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. I invite you to join us inside of that community and we will see you in the next one.